On this RV decor and more, I'm going to show you these few Dollar Tree items that I've got that I'm going to give you space you didn't know you had. I went to Dollar Tree because I was wanting to find and make an inexpensive way of using the back of my pantry door. There's a space between the door and the actual shelves that I feel that's really usable. And I've seen a lot of people do a lot of different things. And I thought, how can I do this with Dollar Tree items? Well, I found them and we are gonna put this on today. So the first one is a hack. I don't know who I saw this from. I have gone down a rabbit hole on TikTok. Oh my, a big rabbit hole. I have my bags like my Walmart bags and stuff because I use them a lot in the art. I just have them in a basket inside my pantry which is taking up shelf space. I'm going to take this and we're going to alter it and we're going to put it on the back of the door of the pantry. Put our bags inside this. We're going to use extra space that you didn't know you had on the back of the door. Then for spice racks, I know you can buy like small slim spice racks that could go on the back of the door but you could go on Amazon and well, I don't know how much they would be, but I'm sure they'd be more than $3. So the first thing is I've got this basket. It's just an essentials basket. And you get these at the Dollar Tree and you typically can always find these. I don't think I've ever gone and not seen them there, but you know, hey, now I'm going to show you this and Dollar Tree's going to have a run on them. So you take your cutters and you're going to want to cut a section out. That way, you, that's where the bags are going to be in. And you're going to leave this here to keep it all intact. Cut there. And I just got wire cutters. That's gonna be the easiest thing to cut this with. All right, so that has my hole cut out for my bags to go down in there. These are little command hooks, not command hooks. They come from the Dollar Tree. They're little hooks. And they have the little sticky on the back of them. And we're gonna use this to put this on the door. Disclaimer on this, this is fake wood door, which means that when you pull these off, that's going to come with it. So I just want to disclaim that up front. If you're okay with the finishing coming off, if you take these off, then put these on there. Now we're going to figure out exactly where I want this to go. And I want it to go just like right below. Oh, I need to put something behind the door. I want to put mine right up underneath the window here. So I want to hook this up here and then we're gonna hook it at the bottom. See exactly where these need to go. One there. We got one there. And then I got another one that's gonna go like right there. And I just have to make sure that I'm putting them where it won't hit like one of these lines. So then I got that one there. All right, so then we got both of those there and then the ones down at the bottom and all you do to clip this in is there it's clipped in and it's holding really well i need to do the exact same thing on the bottom we want to hook some down here that's going to hold this down so that this doesn't come up all i'm going to do on these is i'm going to take my piece off i'm going to move you down went ahead and pulled off the sticky off the back of it and then i'm going to hook this onto here and we're going to make sure I'm even where I want to be. And then we're just going to push it on. And then I have the other one. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to slide it up underneath and put it where I need it to be. Push it on the door. There. It is all hooked. Oop, well, I sat there and picked up on it. <laughs> it is all hooked. And to get this off, you can just pick this up and pull it off. But it is going to be on there. And now, my bags will stay here on the door. And yes, I have a lot of Dollar Tree bags. And the only thing that I think that I might want to do, and I'll have to go in the house and get, is these are kind of a little sharp where I had cut them because they're at like a point. You can just get like some kind of little sanding block and sand them off so you're not going to cut your hand pushing these in and out. There! Now I have an extra basket in my pantry. 
Now my door doesn't really close because it's out of whack, but it closes. <laughs> I can't close it that easy because it's out of whack. I have to pick up on it. That is gonna be a bag holder for my bags. Now let's work on the spice rack. For my spice racks, I have the fridge bin storage containers. They fit perfectly on here. And you can use command strips to attach this or the nano tape. And I am using the nano tape just because I like that better. Again, this is fake wood. It will peel this finish off. I just don't want anybody's spouse to kill them because they pulled the finish off. And these fridge storage bins are great for a bunch of different projects. So you have to figure out exactly where you want to put them so that this door will still close because these up here, you see it's too big. One thing that I did notice on R337, this shelf is bigger. This shelf is in a little smaller. This shelf is a little further in and the bottom one's even further in. So these kind of stair step in where right here, this will not close, the door would not close. Down here, it would close. So I just need to make sure I put these in between my spots where they need to be. So I want this one like right here. And I'm gonna just barely mark a little line. So that way I know where I need to go. Then I'm gonna grab my nano tape and new pretty roll. I'm sure I've got the length that I need. I got me two pieces of nano tape cut. And I'm gonna put them on my line right there. And there. My spice shelf is on here. And now I'm gonna be able to free up this whole drawer and put my spices up there. I got these, I think at the Dollar Tree. They fit inside here like perfect. I made me some little labels with my Cricut Maker. Now I have my seasonings on here and I have to pick up on my door and now and my door still closes and I have seasoning on the back side of my pantry door. I'm gonna figure out where my next one I want it to go, which I feel like up here towards the top is gonna be my best bet so that way maybe it won't skits and I can still put stuff up on top of it. I'm having to, to put these on to go around my shelves. So you could put maybe, if your shelves weren't as tight as mine, you might could put more on here. So this would just be a preference of how many you need to do. All right, so put my chili powder, seasoning salt, garlic, cinnamon, and my taco seasoning. Now, I wouldn't suggest I personally think this nano tape sometimes I'd like to give it 24 hours and it is holding this up and I will pull all these seasonings out and let this cure overnight before I actually put this stuff in there and leave them in there. It will still hold it. It just needs sometimes I feel like it needs an overnight to kind of get in tight. But my door still closes with help. <laughs> It just happens to be it's just a wee bit off. I really could un probably unscrew the strike and move it down just a little bit, but every time we set up, it's a little bit different. Sometimes it's fine, and then sometimes it's just off, oh, just a touch. Also, if you like the outside of my pantry door, my farmhouse look, I have a video where I did this and I showed you how. I'm gonna put one more, I believe, like right here, and then I'll be done. And I'm alternating like, the way the things are. I don't know why, but. Now, if you wanna be like really precise, cause I know some of you like deal, you can get a level and level it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not me. I'm, I'm not the leveling person. I have had this for a while. Uh, I've been wanting to do it. And it's just so hard sometimes to get videos done here lately. Cause I have a lot going on. I'm in here in the house. I just wanted to show you that I don't just do projects in my camper, but I also do projects in my house. Uh, yeah, it's a bathroom and it has uh, been um, taken down to the studs. 
I'm working on this bathroom and it kind of spilled out into the hallway. Ugh. I have way too many irons in the fire. <laughs> I'm redoing this. I have my real estate. I have YouTube. I have to edit videos. I have to do videos. Ugh. Always on the go. So you see what I mean. But that's it. It's done. Now you have a place for your bags and then you have a place for your seasonings. And like I said, depending on your shelves, put in as many or as little as you like. And now I have a whole extra drawer and a basket that I can put more things in. Hope you're enjoying this RV and organization series. Till next time, like and subscribe.